Hey there, in this tutorial, we're going to look at some helpful features in Ableton that make it a lot easier for you to make chords and melodies, even if you have no experience with music theory or how to play any musical instruments. If you're new, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. First off, we'll add a virtual instrument that makes sound. I'll be using a plugin called Piano V2 from Arturia. It doesn't matter what plugin you use, all right? All I'm about to show you remains the same across different plugins. You just double click it and it loads it into a MIDI track. Some plugins will take some time to load, so you be patient. Right here we have the plugin. It's a piano plugin, okay? It makes pretty good and high quality piano sounds. All right, so right here, this is the plugin. If you want to open up the plugin again, you can simply click this wrench tool right here. And you can open and close the plugin. After adding the instruments, we need a MIDI clip so we can play notes on the piano roll. So you can just double click. You can see right here, we created a MIDI clip on the track lane for the virtual instruments we added earlier. Okay. So now we're going to extend this to, let's say four bars. One, two, three, four, four bars. I want to turn up the loop function. All right. I will extend it into four bars again. And you can leave this on if you want to loop as a selection panel right here. You can select it so you can loop the region. So when you place over and over again, it loops it. So right here, we have the MIDI piano roll. One of the features that make this piano roll in Ableton easy to use is even if you do not know how to play any instruments, is the scale feature. Now this feature will show you all relevant notes that make up a key and its scale. For example, if I want to produce a song, in F minor, I can do that right here. Just come to his skill, select it, come to F, then you can change it from major to your. There are all sorts of skill right here, but you know, let's go with minor. And now we have minor. Okay, now it's going to show you. You can see these notes that are highlighted in, in a different color, in a kind of purple color. These are the notes that make up F minor scale. You can take it you know, one step further to just see only the relevant notes for F minor. And you can do that by clicking the scale. You can see these are all the notes that make up F minor. But if you want to see other notes in the piano row, you can turn it off. You see all the other notes here, right? So let's leave this right here because it's make it easier for us to play our melodies and our chords. And if maybe you don't want to work with F minor anymore, you can always change it. It's not permanent. You can change it to D minor, D major, whichever skill you like. All right, so let's work with C major. All right, so these are the notes that make up C major. Let's create a simple chord progression. You can double click it in here, then stretch it out. And the formula for making chords, regardless of the software you use, or the plugin you use is one, three, five. That means the notes you click on first is your number one, then we'll count upwards. Okay, this is one, this is two. Okay, we're not doing anything right there. This is three, so we'll double click that in there. One, two, three, four, then five. Then we'll click that in there. I have to make sure they are well aligned. All right, so when I press play, You can hear that that's a chord now a chord progression is just a sequence okay that's we need more chords to make it a progression so we'll come right here again do the same thing Stretch it out like this. So when I press play, then we can have, we can come down. You know, we're going up. Let's come down and see. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Oh, I made a mistake. One, two, three, four, five. So we're listing. Now this is a nice chord progression, okay? And we can take it a step further by having sevens and nines, okay? It's just the same count, but 
1357 or 1359 okay so this is one two this is one three five this is six this is seven I have it then we'll press play that's that or we can have nine seven eight nine we can take it up here so why to be nine That sounds great and you can also do have chord inversions okay by simply holding control or you can just sweep across the notes okay we can sweep across multiple notes okay you need to hold shift so you can select multiple notes at once okay then to take it to a higher octave okay just simply press shift and up okay and it takes it to a higher octave okay so when i press play And if you want to bring the entire notes down to a lower octave, it's also pretty easy to do. Just um, select everything, Control A, okay, or Command A, then Shift and down. And you can also adjust the velocity. The velocity is just simply how hard you hit notes of a key, okay? And there are several ways you can do that. For example, you can highlight on it okay and then while holding alt you can you see you can adjust it or you can just come in here you know and click it in manually okay but holding alt is, is a lot easier option in mac so just holding that you can do that for each of the notes okay so come here again this only works for sounds that are velocity sensitive okay for sounds that may not be velocity sensitive, it may not really affect it, okay? So when playing with the velocity of sounds, it can affect the expression of the keys. But remember, it only works for sounds that are velocity sensitive. So let's press play and see how it sounds. So let's drag the drum loop in here and see how it sounds. Instantly we have a smash hit. If you found this tutorial helpful, like and subscribe for more. I remain Sir Classy. See you soon. Cheers.